I'm making a work that is uh, preoccupied with like memory, um, moving image, archival footage, and uh, dreams. Thinking about how your dreams can posit new features um, for you. I have an incredible privilege to think through subject matter um, rigorously. It's the time and space that's needed to do that is not um, something that everyone gets. And so to be commissioned means that I get to do that more. And I feel just incredibly blessed to be able to make art. Sandra Perry uses video, performance, and digital manipulations to explore notions of identity, representation, and blackness, both from an intimately personal perspective and a historical lens. Expanded to monumental proportions across the billboards of Times Square, Flesh Wall, 2016 to 2020, is an animation of a supermodulated, highly processed image of the artist's skin, so magnified that it takes on a nearly unrecognizable form. Through this process, the flesh losses all kind of realistic render, but you gain some kind of understanding of what creatureness is or what identity means outside the label of human, says Perry. My interested in like kind of like the, the hardware, the metal, like these things as having kind of like having these lives. So they're exercise equipment and they're made to be used. They're made to be used in relationship to the body. They're made to kind of like make the body better. And in one of the cases, they're made to make the body better and to make you a more efficient worker. Um, they wanna keep you healthy so you can continue laboring. Um, and so the machines are made, um, especially the bike workstation specifically is made for me. So I can get in and get out. Um, just so much that the like machine doesn't fall apart. So it's incredibly like it's incredibly um, like precarious. My folks worked with um, what they had. You know, I, I used to say that like they they worked with very little, but what they worked with was a lot. It was um, culture. It was family history. There's something about the medium and its dissemination that um, allows like the general public to have a really sophisticated understanding of what moving images do for better or for worse, you know, like um, if they're playing with stereotypes, um, you know, if, uh, if, the, if the image is degrading people, you know, all of those types of things, you know, it's part of my um, work as an artist to um, show those systems, how they work, how we are viewing people um, in the moving image uh, space. Um, all of these new um, technological spaces of representation um, are uh, great ways where like old stories are becoming new again or, or the old is being seen through a different literal lens. Um, and uh, we're getting to kind of like discover who we are once more.